Hi, it's showtime with Chica Capitana. Good afternoon, everyone. Today we have two special guests, my neighbors, uh, Mike Mina and Nicola Lapid. Uh, we are going to talk today about singleness, um, blessed singleness, and uh, for Valentine's Day, in time for Valentine's Day, for people uh, who are singles, don't feel left out by this occasion because this occasion is for everyone, everyone with a heart. Well, um, before we uh, go to our Chica, Chica Han, I will introduce again teacher Ian, whose face we cannot see, but uh, whose drawing will later uh, blow us away. And uh, he's my art teacher, Ian. Um, Ian, sometimes it's known as Raven Fox. Raven Fox is an illustrator, graphic designer, art teacher with extensive fashion, retail design, and merchandise experience. He has been commissioned for several advertising and marketing collaterals, posters, billboards, packaging, illustrations, branding for different local and international brands. He conducts art sessions on drawing and painting using different mediums. He enjoys doodling, art journaling, and painting on paper and walls. Let's welcome teacher Ian De Jesus. He's been Thank you so much. For six times already, I guess. Five or six. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, Miss uh, Rosanna. Thank you for having me. So today, uh, this would be a special episode for the Rosanna live. And uh, I'll be doing a Valentine themed painting uh, based on the style of Kibisim. So as I do things here on my end, of course you can uh, feel free to ask whenever you're asking, just in case I'll just uh, give you an overview of the things that I'll be using. First would be the sunny uh, Renaissance gouache colors. And then I'll also be using the Sunny Silky Crayons, the Giotto Turbo Maxi, and the Sunny Fine Liners all together. Oh, this so is this mixed is mixed media? Mixed media painting for today. Okay. If you like, if you like our show, um, please subscribe at YouTube channel Capitana Entertainment Media to get updates on lit on latest videos. Um, we have three movies. For now, it's just one but we're going to have more free movies as we go along. Please subscribe um, to Capitana YouTube, um, Capitana Entertainment Media at YouTube channel. You have to hit the button subscribe. Just browsing won't get you subscribed. You have to hit the subscribe button. Okay, so teacher, you can start. Yes. Or we'll talk a little bit about uh, my neighbors. Mike, are you busy today? Hold on, I said I, I'm, I'm in another call. That's why I muted myself. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, so, I'm still working, you know, okay. Hala, hala, hala. So we can start with our Valentine's um, up for single blessedness, which is very important because this is a time when a lot of single people um, are so parang uh, awkward and they are so... Um, how to say they are very awkward, they are um, sure. uneasy because they don't have a significant other. So we want to tell the single people, all, all the single people out there that, um, you know, Valentine's Day is not only for lovers, but for people with a big, big heart. And uh, you can still be happy even without a significant other and you can still celebrate Valentine's Day without a significant other. First of all, um, how to celebrate uh, 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 this, your single blessedness on this uh, special Valentine's Day occasion? Number one, indulge in something you wanted to do but never ever got the time to do it, like painting. Um, teacher Ian, uh, you would like to take it away? Oh, okay. So. Uh, sometimes we get uh, a little bit pressured or actually these things happen whenever we encounter a certain holiday, especially made for a few people. So sometimes people get uh, pressured with the idea of having a date just before the Valentine's Day. 
And it's actually something a season more about yung it's for the heart. So technically, we actually have different kinds of love, love for uh, friends, family, fr- family, your peers. And of course, uh, one of the things, especially if you're single, you should always learn to love yourself. Uh, and then painting is one of those few things that would probably help you embrace that self-love because more than often uh, i'm just using watercolor while i'm talking so more than often you get to be in that moment of your life when you think now ah can i still do this even if i'm not in school am i too old to start a new hobby for myself painting kasi in general really you know gives you a beautiful uh, outlook in things because creating always gives you that extra push knowing that you can do something by your hand especially in this uh, time where things are mass produced doing things by your hand gives you that confidence to explore things so today we'll be doing something it starts with a watercolor and then we'll try to add pens and inks later on probably finish it with a few details with fine liners but we'll be starting with a quick wash right here while listening to some of the thoughts of uh, Mr. Sana and her other guests about how to celebrate uh, singleness in this time where the pressure from social media gets into you. I always love painting, diba? Teacher yes. Ian, you know that. Mm. <laughs> then I get very pagod kasi matagal na matagal. <laughs> then I can't even do it right. And then you'd come to my aid and help me. Hang on. So one thing is, you know, if ever you're doing painting or anything, it, just remember that painting is uh, a skill. It can be learned. As long as you give time to practice and do it uh, just give it kahit siguro mga 5, 10, 15 minutes a day to practice. Just get the brush. Do something like this, as you can see. It's just splashes of colors. doesn't have to be a uh, color that you want to paint with. Just pick random things. And then, just with especially with watercolor, just let it flow here and there. And then, we'll try later what will happen and then what would be the result of this. You just let it be. Yan. Oh, ganun naman. Ganun lang. Parang ano yan? Abstract? Yes. Yeah, so we start. We started with a very abstract uh, composition. So this is mostly a wash of colors and then just we just want to let it sit into the paper so that we can apply colors later on. Oh, that's one thing that I would like you to know. Don't be pressured. Siyempre, if you're painting for the first time, try not to uh, paint uh, subjects that are very hard to paint. Example, you can always paint anything. But as much as possible, I would suggest for beginners to play with colors. Yun lang muna. So one thing at a time. So first, this would be just play with colors. If something nice happened, if something went out of the way, just let it be. Just let the colors mingle in the paper like what's happening. Always remember when something is uh, applied into the paper, when it dries, sometimes there are shifts in color. So you should embrace those changes. Try to wait a little bit for it to dry before you apply another layer. Or even before everything is drying, try to drop this and that. You can actually do that. I'll get a little bit of this. But teacher, parang tapos na yata ang painting mo, ah. Hindi pa. <laughs> Ayan, so, <laughs> you can, you can also do this. And then I can put it in my, ano na, and yes. I can frame it and put it on my wall. Ayan. So, pwedeng ganyan. You, you experiment. Whenever you're doing any art, you need to experiment things. Ayan. Just let it, ano lang, mingle into the paper. Always it's remember so if you're... Tapos na yan. For me, ah, some painters just do that and then tapos na. They just sign and then sell it at a very high oh. price. <laughs> 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 painters do that. Kaya lang, 
ano diba? especially painters ako kasi medyo ano ko what you call this i i paint figuratively so if sabihin my paintings are a little bit uh those paintings with figures if sabihin meron siyang uh subject na you should you would be recognizing yeah nicole so, did you nicole did you hi. ano do you like um do you collect paintings your house is so big i'm sure there are so many paintings <laughs> no we don't really collect paintings um i tend to agree with your other guests that you know um painting is fun i myself am an amateur watercolor oh wow i, I don't want to say painter okay <laughs> a watercolor <laughs> um attempting yeah. artist all right but there's something very soothing about you know playing with colors, looking at them, and you see the different colors in the tubes and in your pans. You know, you just feel happy. So yes, sometimes so I also true. like to play, play also with the watercolors, and then uh, I don't really have sometimes anything in mind to draw. But it's it's sort of a meditation for me. You know, like when I do it, it's quiet. Nobody's bothering me. I'm just playing with colors and there's nothing else in my mind. My mind is blank. And uh, it's a good way of de-stressing, relaxing, you know, when you've had a really hard day. And sometimes when you produce something that's actually nice, of course, my family is my biggest fan, right? <laughs> and even if it's pangit, they'll say they like it. <laughs> actually, so actually just that, a lady. You know, I give it to them. Actually, a lady in Forbes is telling me to uh, create a group uh, for artists, for art enthusiasts, I mean. Uh, mm -hmm. We won't call ourselves artists first, takakahiya, maka art, art enthusiast. Um, what do you think, teacher Ian, balik ka after the pandemic? Because we already started it, right? Opo, we just started kaya lang, pandemic hit and different things. Yung mga priorities na, syempre safety would be our first priority. Of course, there are different learners kasi din. Some people learn easier when they see it in person. Some people mm. learn better if they are given text. Some people learn better if they see it on actual while being taught to. Some people prefer a bigger class group when they were, when they learn. Some people want to do them on their own. The same learning process for every person. Uh, well, I'm making this ano siguro. Well, we want this to dry. I really want this to dry, especially when I paint with watercolors. Because I, I paint very ano masa well. So let me ano habang nandyan yung para hindi kayo na iinit. I'll show you something that I did kanina with fine liner. So this is done with uh, this one. Stunning. Wow. So it's not the usual, I uh, know, the usual Valentine's color. Though what I like about this, ano, kasi this is a very good brown. This brown, sung sung tong brown na po. It's para sa chocolate. See, you can even, ano, uh, tawag dun, when you are do doing something, you don't have to be uh, cage or uh, what you call that, limited by the colors that is being expected of the subject. So, pag nisip niya, bakat brown yung flowers, parang diba weird yun. Tapos bakit blue siya sa ka-brown? Pero, pero in the end, you can actually do anything that you like. Kasi sometimes what happens when you are learning something new, especially when you're painting or doing something artsy or something uh, different from the usual, yung first natin na critic talaga would be ourselves. Na parang, ay baka hindi maganda, baka hindi ko kaya, maybe I cannot do it as well as the video that I watch, or maybe I cannot do it the same way as the professor or the teacher is doing. So, dapat yung unang-una natin na i-let go with the hesitations of doing things. I think for you to try the thing that you want to do in any kind of field or any kind of uh, arts and crafts in the field, the first thing you need to do is to just try and leave yung voice in the back of your head telling you na hindi mo siya kayang gawin or you'll commit a mistake. Always welcome yung sinasabi nga ni Bob Ross na happy accident. For example, pag lumagpas yung ginawa niyong paint, ayan yun lang siya. It's a good uh, way for you to put another tree, another flower. Ayan, medyo. So yun na siya. Ganun ko na yun. Pero may segue na konti. So I'll just Alam be mo, layering this out. Yeah. Alam mo, teacher Ian, the other guest, Mike, I don't know if he's back, no? I'm Why back. I'm there? back. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
He's also a very good artist. Well, he draws. Uh, actually, so all of us here are artists. Okay. Yeah, a, a little bit uh, about my, my background. I studied interior design uh, in the 80s. So there, there goes my age. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I, I'll be senior in one year. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm not ashamed of my age. You know, it's just, na ako. That's the gift of longevity. Yeah. So anyway, I took up in the interior design. I practiced interior design for a while until I moved to. Uh, I mean, moved overseas to work, and then I came back in uh, 2006 for good. And um, when I was in design school, um, of course, you know, um, you have to create your plates, you know, and, and, and uh, the medium that we used then was watercolor. And so during that time, I tried dabbling on, you know, other uh, watercolor pieces aside from our plates, you know, but um, I stopped after school because a watercolor is kind of, you know, it's, it's a very difficult medium. So when I got the itch again to do, you know, some artworks, you know, I tried, um, Acrylic. Acrylic is a very easy, you know, to me it would be, it's a very easy medium, you know. And then um, in 2000 and uh, sometime in 2010, I think, or 2013, or we, our group here uh, my, well, with my adoptive family, um, we mounted, you know, we had an exhibition in, uh, in one of the restaurants of Chef Jesse. So um, most of us, uh, in fact, everyone, you know, used uh, acrylic. Uh, we exhibited 150 artworks that time. Wow. I still have, you know, my... So were you, the, were you the instructor? No, we actually got an instructor in 2007, you know, when we all started, you know, uh, painting in acrylic. But the thing was, you know, um, hindi ako nakikinig doon sa, sa instructor. Instructor, do your own thing. Okay lang naman, sabi nga ni Teacher Ian, you can do your yeah, own thing. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, you know, the instructor would say, oh, siguro mas maganda yung ganyan, but, you know, uh, stuck meron to your pa own, yung ano. ano, right? You know, so, there. Sayang sana, no? We all we all brought our art materials. I, then, I didn't know that it was gonna be like this. No, it'll it always happen next yeah. time. We all um, brought our art materials, and all of us are doing what Teacher Ian is doing. What are you doing now, Teacher Ian? Uh, I'm I'm actually uh, layering the second uh, layer for the mixed media uh, painting. This is uh, using a silky crayon. So this is a uh, dry medium over a previously wet medium wash, and then right after, I'll be adding another. A uh, splash of water because this medium is uh, water soluble, so you can turn a bit of the paint into watercolor paint. So it transforms into a wet medium right after you put your water into it. Going back to what uh, Kanina Mike said, no, about watercolor is a very difficult. I agree, but then I found out uh, there is another. Um, art uh, material that is very, very good and very easy to use, and that's watercolor pencil. So like what teacher Ian now is using is parang a watercolor uh, silky crayons. It's a crayon for children called gel crayons, but it's very, very um, versatile. Even adults can use it. But uh, I use watercolor pencil for my um, travel sketches, and I use uh, also ink. So ink to outline, and then um, I use watercolor pencil, and it comes out really, really very beautiful. So I, I really love watercolor pencil, and it looks like watercolor dia. It's a dia thing, like these watercolor crayons that uh, Teacher E is doing. Well, uh, well, Teacher, um, well, Teacher um, Ian is doing his painting. Uh, his Valentine's uh, painting. Uh, I would like to I would like to move to another topic, no? And uh, I would like um, to invite um, Nicole to talk about animals because um, adopting pets, you know, uh, I'm sure a lot of people have uh, pets. Uh, 
pedigree, beautiful pets. Um, I too have a very beautiful Labrador retriever, and uh, but recently I adopted a uh, Aspen, uh, uh, what you call it, Asong Pinoy. So, but uh, I thought I was a good uh, mother, what you a fur mother, fur mama, but um, here there's a, a very, very, what you call this, um, fur mama with a very big heart with a lot of dogs. Yeah, um, Nicole, can you tell us about your experience? Yeah, I can. But, you know, before I start on that, I would yeah. also like to go back to what teacher Ian said a while ago. Hmm. Because he was hmm. talking about a certain awkwardness and being obsessed with singleness and stuff like that. No, yes. um, Maybe I'm already beyond that because, like Mike, I'm very senior. <laughs> not that senior, huh? but I'm 61. Oh, no, you're not. I'm more senior no, I'm than 61. you. Yeah, but you know, when you get to be that age, you know, you no longer have the teenage angst where you feel that you have to have somebody with you when you eat outside. You have Agreed. to hold hands with somebody when you go out. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, for me, um, when it's Valentine's Day, I actually greet all my friends. All right. Yay. I greet my relatives. I greet my cousins. I greet my friends. Because Valentine's is not just for lovers. It's for friends all over. You know, so um, ever since I was young, even if we had boyfriends already and then my siblings had their spouses, their husbands and their wives, you know, Valentine's Day was always spent as a family. There was no silly romantic romantic because, you know, that was finished not during the courting stage. But as we all got older, Valentine's Day became a family day and a friend day. Okay, so actually... I would feel sad sometimes on Valentine's Day, not because I don't have a boyfriend, lover, or husband, but because maybe part some members of my family will no longer be there. You know, because in the last five years, I lost my brother, I lost my dad. So for me, Valentine's, ever since they left, has been a little sad. But how do we how do we make up for it? Well, we get together with our family again, even if they're less. The young kids have multiplied, so somehow <laughs> the number has still been the same. And then Rosanna invited me here because she wanted me to talk about dogs. And, okay, this sounds really funny, and I don't want to depress anyone, no. But I also lost my dog two weeks ago. All right. Oh. And then I got, I got a card from a friend overseas, and... She just said something like this, no? Um, the card, she just had to take a picture because Shampra, she wanted to send me on, it to me on time and not give it to me through snail mail, no? So the card said this, our animal friends teach us more than we could have expected and love us more than we could have hoped. That's why mm -hmm. we miss them more than we could have imagined, okay? So that sort of summarizes the role that animals play in my life, um, particularly dogs. No? And um, you see, animals are so forgiving. <laughs> if you get in this with them because they're so kulit, you'll tell them one day, kulit mo, stay first there. There, stay in your corner or stay in your bed, okay? Don't bother mama, I'm busy working. And then sometimes you're a little sharp and then the dogs are so sensitive, they can feel it, no? So, they sometimes go away, stay in their corner, or then just look at you with sad eyes. <laughs> yeah. But then the next day, it's like nothing happened. They're so forgiving. Okay. It's not always like that with humans. All right. With humans, they make deep, deep. Sometimes they, you know, keep a grudge. But seriously, unless you abuse an animal, um, a dog will always be so forgiving and so loving. Okay. So, um, when my dog passed away um, two, two weeks ago, it's actually my second dog death. No? It doesn't get easier, by the way. Um, without going into a lot of detail, I had to talk to the veterinarians involved in the vet clinic and explain to them why what they were doing is so inhuman and is so materialistic, maybe. Okay. Because I felt that the whole time my dog was in the hospital, she was just something on the assembly line, okay? 
and because of COVID also, I cannot blame them 100%. They were understaffed. They had very junior doctors there. They didn't have enough technicians to go around. And they were in full house. So I think my dog died through negligence. No? Again, I don't really want to go into details. But I just said something to the owner of the clinic. And I said to him, you know, um, my dogs are have different meaning and significance for me you know i have scotty and scotty is my heart dog frankly she's the one who can read my mind she can you know be very sensitive to how i feel and also when i look at her i know when she's in pain sometimes or i know when she's excited or whatever you know because she's really a dog of habit i, I can explain that later but when scotty comforts me i said when my dad and my brother passed away, she put her paws on me and then she tried to hug me. <laughs> so a lot of people would say, no, she's just trying to show that she's dominant. And I said, no, she only does that when I'm sad. No? So it's like you're getting a hug from a dog. And then I have another dog, Ellie. And Ellie, um, I don't pet him. He pets me. So when he sees me, he does figure eights around my ankles, you know, round and round and round. He does the figure eight like maybe 10 times before he settles down. Maybe he's also excited to see me. But, you know, when he does that to me, it's like he's petting me and comforting me. Okay. But the one who passed away was Frankie. And I told the clinic owner, you know, with Frankie, she's a long-haired German shepherd, by the way. I said, when my relatives died, I did not need any Kleenex because all her fur absorbed my tears. Oh, masabe. I said, that's how much my dogs mean to me. So please, you know, take care of them. Don't treat them like assembly line products that you're going to make money on. Sure, we, it, this is a consensual relationship. Okay, I pay money for care. And in turn, I expect it from you. I don't want negligence. No. Now, I'm a little bit strange, and I, I don't normally admit this to a lot of people. No? But when my relatives died, um, our family didn't want to talk about it. You know, I'm the type who had to see a psychiatrist and the type who had to see a psychologist, and I had to talk to my many friends because I didn't get the same sympathy for my my family. Not because they were not sympathetic, far from it, no. But they're the types who like to hide everything inside. So. Even if I wanted to cry, I couldn't cry because they'd look at me like I was Luca Luca. So that's where my dogs came in. You know, they become a really big source of um, friendship, comfort, you know. And um, frankly, sometimes they don't have the ability to hurt you, unlike other humans. So because dogs are so loyal and then are so protective and also are so forgiving. Sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, huh? but sometimes they're better to have around than humans because the humans can say hurtful things, but dogs can't. I mean, I've never been bitten by a dog, thank God. But of course, other people will argue with me and say, eh, you know, I've been bitten by nasty animals. And yeah, yeah, okay. So... Valentine's will be spent with family. And then once the dinner is over, I'm going to walk my dogs. <laughs> and it's going to be fun. <laughs> and I do that not just for exercise, but for relaxation. And then they're not philosophical. And when I talk to them, I say all sorts of things. They don't answer back. They just look at me. And then they, they put their paws on me or do something like that. You know, that's uh, their way of saying, I don't really understand what you're saying, but I... I get that you want to talk to me, you know, so then they'll put their paws on me or lick me, which I hate. I hate the licking part, but you can't help it. They all do that. So this is just a small insight about the role of animals that they would play in my life, you know. So definitely I get a lot of love from friends and family, but the love from dogs is unique. I, I cannot really say or explain only another fellow dog lover would understand because all these feelings and sentiments that i have would also have been felt by them the barosana yeah did i say I anything that's different from what you would feel no but mm -hmm. i mean you're you're a, a, a better fur mama than me definitely you give more time and attention
No, not uh, always. I just have a really good staff. You know, like I like uh, to make yabang and say my service to crew ratio is uh, two dogs to one yaya. So that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw, Mike, do you have a pet? No, wala na naman si Mike. Sorry, you know, I'm still working, actually. Sorry. Do you and, have a pet? No, no, I don't have a personal pet, but, you know, I, you know, um, Christine. Yeah, you have dogs around. You know, we have dogs around the house, so uh, whenever I have time, you know, I play with them. But yeah. I'm not really, well, I love dogs, but um, I don't know. I thought about it. You know, for for the long, I've been thinking about it for the longest time, and you know, I even thought of uh, of the idea of having uh, my own dog. But um, no, um, I don't think I can take care of you know dogs. So there must be another yaya yeah, for for the dog if ever. But right now, you know, it's not something that you know. Even if I'm single, it's not something that I you know uh, I'm thinking of doing. Yeah. Well, for me, naman, for the longest time, uh, we were like taught by my parents to always buy dogs that are pedigree with papers and all these things. But, um, you know, um, all my life I have dogs and I've, I've outlived plenty, plenty of dogs. But it is uh, recently, like four years ago, that my daughter uh, spotted a puppy that was like uh, a mutt. Uh, an Aspin, and then she called me and asked me if uh, she can bring the dog home. What I've done in the past uh, is uh, when I have uh, like uh, I see something like a factory in they have dogs. I would have I would uh, nurture it and then give it to like the workers who need dogs at home. And uh, this time, what I did was um, I said, okay, as long as she's not noisy. We'll uh, let her stay for a few days, and afterwards, we'll um, uh, find a home for this dog. But you know what? She was so quiet all the time, and she was so cute. She's like a fur ball, very, very beautiful puppy. And uh, I kind of every day I kind of procrastinate. I said, oh, "Cute, cute, pa, over, cute as overload. Let's not give her away today. Tomorrow, na lang. Procrastinate until she became a regular in the house, and um." She was uh, like part of the house now. Yeah. And so right now we're so in love with this Aspin and um, we really love her. And, you know, um, in fact, I love her more than my other Labrador, the, the, the young Labrador, because this Aspin is so cute. She really tugs on your heart because um, she helps out like she catches rats and the, uh, she does a lot of things. Also, she cleans the dogs, other dogs. And then, um, you know, when there, whenever there's a person outside, like a stranger, things like that, she'd bark. She's really like the bantai of the house. So people are scared of her, you know, uh, because she's, she's really like a security guard, pesticide, all rolled into one. And then when you go out with her, she's not like an asong ulul. She, she's very... How to say if she's a um, if she's a person she would be called lady not a tramp. So parang I felt in love with my Aspin. So I'm encouraging everyone because I always see in Facebook a lot of dogs need to be adopted. Sana if you can if you have a heart uh, to take in one more, uh, consider also not the pedigree ones but um, you know like dogs with disability or 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 the mutt you know a mutt you know they you will reap a lot of uh, love from from um, dogs like them so that's how i think in valentine's maybe make a dog happy by adopting one so something like that agree nicola <laughs> uh yes i, I don't know but your I dogs think... are also beautiful, except that, uh, who's this? Uh, I forgot the name. Your dogs are all beautiful dogs. And then uh, really, really well well kept and everything. Very healthy, tip-top condition. They're quite naughty. Yeah. They're, and very pretty, no? I saw the, the picture, the group photo. So beautiful, beautiful dogs. Ah. Tell them about 
di ba? In your, your house, parang your neighbors were already, how, how to say, parang uh, burglars broke in, except your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because um, the back of our house is near a major highway. It's on a major highway. No? So, um, everybody knows about the, I don't know, the guard dogs here. Because I took a picture once and then um, it was just with an iPhone, but all their eyes started to shine <laughs> in different yeah. colors. Yeah, really that's, that's such a beautiful photo. I saw that. Mm -hmm. So our neighbor to the right and neighbor to the left, they were all robbed, but I don't think anybody dared come into our place. Because um, most I have six uh, German shepherds. Okay, so we, all of them have their ears up. And that, mm. for some reason, scares other people. But they're the most loving dogs ever. Yeah. Only one of them bites. And he only bites if he wants to protect you. Oh, but he did. He had the history now. Yeah, but he oh, has no more teeth. So even if he bites you, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you took out his teeth because he bit no, someone. No, no, no. He's old now. And then, you know, with all the stuff that he's eaten and, and the yeah, balls yeah. that he played with, you know, his teeth are not sharp anymore. Oh, my mama lost all his teeth because he loves bones. One of my mm. old dogs, he died already. Then he he loves bones. So I would always bring him, you know, when I come home, uh, bones. And then uh, he'd always, you know, like, you know, the crispy pata bone. Uh, it's very, it's very tough, right? He can mm -hmm. bite it, mga one, two, three, and it's gone. And it's really gone. You just can see, you know, little fragments on the on the floor. So, you know, they they have really powerful jaws and the teeth, huh? So scary. Can you imagine if it uh, bites the person? It's so it must be really painful. <laughs> really crush the bones. Anyway, so uh, teacher Ian, the san kana. Ah uh, yes, I, I'm trying to uh, complete first the background using the fine liners. This is these are sunny fine liners. I'm doing some doodling work or line work for the background because I want it to stand out from the center as I want this to dry. You can see here that some of the parts where I use the silky crayons are uh, layered very well over the watercolor. Most of them blend all together. And later on, we'll try to add another layer to uh, put more details into the middle. I just want to do the outside first so that the middle part would uh, dry very well. And talking about the program dogs, pala, ako na relate ako with what they said about dogs also. Because our dog then passed away a few weeks ago. Hmm. Wow, it's so hard to have. We, we treat dogs here in our house as a no, a part of the family. I we even think na parang akala siguro ng dogs namin. They're actually siblings or the mom, our mom and dad are the same as theirs. They don't <laughs> usually they don't usually bark the way other dogs do. Because diba sometimes when when other dogs hear na tumatahol yung ibang dogs from the other houses they also bark or they howl they don't it's as if they ano they even especially pag they, you walk with them alam mo yun parang kinukumusta pa nila yung ibang ano they get excited when they see another dog especially yung ganun it's parang they even like cats which is feeling namin weird nga I might don't like cats talaga the cats will be shredded to pieces <laughs> <laughs> this is in, in, in our house dogs are treated as family it's probably we just hope na when they when uh when yung bunso namin na dog passed away was ano parang feeling namin we just hope that they had a wonderful decade at our home na if there would be another chance for them to have another family they would choose our home again <sighs> so you think dogs probably will have a reincarnation <laughs> we hope so <laughs> <laughs> when my first dog died, I actually had the, the monks in Bhutan say a prayer for him. Then they told me <laughs> when he would be reincarnated. 
<laughs> and then depending when, on when how old he was. When now? Nachi. Uh -oh. Nachi died in September 2020. Yeah, I know. When will he be reincarnated? He's already around somewhere. I just haven't seen him. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. my... Now, my, my friend who died, I'm all, I still have to contact my friend in Bhutan to get the monks to say prayers for her. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The things that we do for our dogs, no? Yeah. Anyway, well... I, I was suggesting also the other thing is... um. You know, uh, wouldn't it be nice also to well, treat Valentine's Day Valentine's Day as Christmas and then uh, we go to people who are uh, sick or the orphanage, all these places like, um, but then now it's pandemic, so it's not, you know, advisable, but we can send stuff, you know, uh, orphanages and hospitals and retirement homes or even visit um, an older relative who's lonely. Parang, I think that would be nice for Valentine's Day. Parang hindi lang during Christmas that we think of people that way. So for me, parang the other thing is paint. Uh, uh, aside from painting, I mean to say, the other thing is uh, making special food and giving it away. Parang give love, give, give love food. So you want, and if you cannot um, make, uh, if you're not a good cook or you cannot make a decent um, food, a meal, then you can always order from Pink Mixer or oh, advertising na yana. Oh, you order food from Pink Mixer, <laughs> cake or something to give away. Oh, super, super. We are in Salcedo Market on uh, Saturday and in Legaspi Market on Sundays, so you can always drop by and uh, buy something from us or go to our Pink Mixer um, Facebook or Instagram and you can find um, our selections there. Or makikain. Ayun, makikain. Makikain is also a good one. <laughs> I was just teasing Mike when I saw him and I said, hey, this is our neighbor who's always here. <laughs> 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 anyway. No, but, but uh, Capitana's Pick Pixers um, products are really good. <laughs> um, one of my favorites is um, the Ube Ensaimada. Oh, and the apple pie pala. The apple pie is, you know, really very good. Thank you, thank you. Naging advertisement tuloy. <laughs> so, um, aside from, so aside from <laughs> giving other other people um, things, so other people like food, visiting them or something, um, uh, what you call this, other tokens like uh, toys or something. Um, I think we also have to, parang you can use Valentine's Day. You can you can use this day to unwind right and then para make it your private day instead of uh, feeling ah uh, uh, because i have a i know somebody who's 80 plus is still thinking about getting married come on instead of feeling lonely something like um you can do it to pamper yourself what would you do on this day I don't think she needs to get married for the company. I think she can have the company without getting married. Yeah. Especially if she has assets, she's going to screw up the inheritance and make all the family hate her. Oh. Of the one she's marrying. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, but but some people still are still looking for the significant other long after the flower. Na, ano na, nag mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> After the flower, nag ano na? Ano yun? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what the flower is no longer well, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we call it in Chinese yung parang hindi na siya nag ano na nag shall. Yung parang yung hindi na block na flower. They still thinking of marriage. I don't know, but well, some old people are very ano naman still lucky in love. They can find somebody. <clears throat> But there are some people who still who still find
find uh, their partners very late in life. And uh, yeah. But what will you do during Valentine's? How will you pamper yourself? Or what do you want to do? Uh, I will be traveling to Ilocosur. Oh, wow. I've been there. Pero parang ghost town. No, I'm going there for work. So oh for yeah. work. Like are you are you scared like evening? I want to go there past by the town, but then I don't want to stay there in the evening. Mm -hmm. Uh we're going to places that don't even have banks and electricity. So oh really? Mm -mm. So are you visiting people? No, we're going to conduct the trainings. Oh, so still people. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Because I remember uh, we, yep. have a, we have a group and then like uh, they want to talk to us, somebody like, um, you know, I'm a barangay captain, they want to talk. Then they say, it's Valentine's Day, let's move it to the next day na lang. So I don't know what's with Valentine's Day. Some people don't want to work, so probably it's a special day or something. Uh, not sure. It fell on a Monday kasi. O nga. Ano gagawin mo? Ako, I have a dinner. Dinner with eight people, huh? Plus, it's a little hard to, you know, book restaurants. Yeah. Is it? Go to places time? every Valentine. Pandemic? Lately, because when you look at EDSA, the traffic is almost similar to <laughs> the pre-pandemic. People are already going out. Most of the people are already commuting, traveling. Katakot, no? There, there are even na na, mga people who are doing gimmicks now for the past few days. <clears> the <throat> More or less very similar to how we are doing things from uh, 2019. Parang very similar na. Though there are restrictions, pero mas ano na sila ngayon. Especially when they are vaccinated. But of course, we should you know, remind everybody that it's not because you're vaccinated, you're allowed to do these things. When you are vaccinated, you're just uh, no, given protection from the, what you call this, the harsher na mga effects ng virus, but that doesn't make you uh, super protected against the virus. You can still get the virus, but a lower mortality rate. Parang ganun lang yung idea. No, Some people okay, forget no. that. Yung kinakausap mo isang Teflon woman. You, not me, ah. Nicole is a Teflon woman. You one time, everyone was down except her. <laughs> Hindi na tatalaban. Hindi na tatalaban. Oh, oh depende ano. din kasi siya sa ano. Immunity na, uh, no? Immunity mo per person talaga. Yeah. Uh, she continues to work and then yeah to do all these things but i must i'm just thinking like uh like um someone was telling me this pandemic is like pendulum yung parang yung yung uh, uh like people go to the left they don't go out now when uh the the cases are down they go out and then the cases build up again then they go back to the left to left and then mamaya konte down na naman, back to the... Parang pendulum tayo, hindi ba? Oh, we don't... It's not about ano kasi. It's not about yourself lang. It's more of who are you with at home. Especially if you're with people na senior citizens at home. Or if you are with dun sa mga highly susceptible dun sa virus. Kasi you might be... The problem with uh, current situation here is People who are not affected doesn't even feel the responsibility means because sometimes you, you can be a carrier of the virus, but you're not affected by it at all. Oh, Sana okay. mindful. Mindful lang yung ano, because some, some people are really asymptomatic. And then like, like example, I'll be sharing a, a friend of mine. They never knew na may COVID sila until they are required to go through the test because they're going back to the they're going back abroad tapos nung pina ano sila ah may COVID pala siya so lahat sila parang buong family nila was uh, required to take the test and then they realized asymptomatic lang pala yung family nila the whole time 
Also, they're all positive? Positive silang lahat. And they oh didn't know because it wasn't affecting them at all. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> This is coming from, uh, ano, uh, kasi, uh, 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 an auntie of mine and a pinsan died from COVID. It was yung strain that was a uh, really deadly strain before. And it was less than 24 hours after admitting them sa hospital and then sa ICU. And then she died within 24 hours. So some people kasi they don't feel the, uh, the idea na it's a responsibility of everyone. They still think na hindi siya totoo. It's probably because they haven't seen it beforehand that one of their loved ones or someone they really know has experienced what it's really like. Mm. When, when you have someone, especially a loved one, died from uh, COVID, it's really a different perspective. It really opens you up into things that you shouldn't really be doing this because you know it's bawal. You should really be more careful because you know, yun talaga ko na, na feel na yung asymptomatic uh, carriers would be probably the reason why this pandemic is not ending. <laughs> Because not all of us are tested every single now and then. Hmm. I always have myself tested. Oh, kasi required kasi frontliner kayo eh. Hmm. Kaya dapat kayo din yung isa sa pinaka responsible for it. I just would like to tell that para everyone, anyone who is hearing this, if it's not really important, especially if it's not really an important, you're just bored at home, just don't go out. Or just don't do things that would be problematic in the later time. Pero if, syempre, if it's for work, if it's uh, something really important, and you uh, know it's important, please, please follow yung protocols needed for everything. Wag na yung parang palakasan system or don't make daya yung, ano, yung mga forms and all. Kasi di ba yun yung naging problem recently? Di na daya nila yung mga cards and forms just to pass this and that. Kasi this would this wouldn't end if we don't ano <laughs> help each other, 'di ba? So paano yung Valentine's Day? Uh it is ano uh, honestly with Valentine's Day, totoo lang, we usually have dinner lang din with family here at home or we go out. So, so usually they just cook minsan eat sa bahay. Kasi nga wala ilang beses na kasi namin yung tinray when you go out on Valentine's, have dinner somewhere. The puno na yung walang, pag wala kang reservations or ano, sobrang puno, mahirap mag-drive. Lahat, everything is ano, parang excite, na hype excite kasi karamihan of the people. Kahit na may pasok, parang everybody's parang in this mood of dining out, sharing and expressing this <laughs> idea of love with everyone. Of course, I have nothing against those people who do that. Kasi iba-iba nga tayo din ng uh, way of giving and uh, sharing or expressing our love for another person or our loved ones, families, and friends. Pero be extra, ano lang, careful. Pero thankful then you can do it online, video calls. Some yeah. some people that I know, they just, ano, they just, they, they do nga yung parang, ano, they, they, they watch a movie together because you can do that, do that now. Online. Online, di ba? They watch a movie together online. <laughs> Sometimes they listen to podcasts together. They, you, you can actually get around things without risking too much. Di ba? But sa akin, I think, uh, for singles, uh, you should kindle your own fire. You can, you, you can think of a lot of things na even without the significant other, you can kindle your own fire. Adopt a dog, you know, a, a dog that needs to be loved, and um, do your own like things that in your bucket list or wish list that you haven't done, like painting or mm-hmm. cooking special, uh, uh, cooking something special. I'm planning to do something this uh, Valentine's. I want to do something um, I haven't done before, like a cooking, and then uh, I plan to call all, everyone. Well. I, we have to do that. Everybody's exchanging texts during Valentine's. So try to be mindful, more mindful of those older people who do not know the internet, who do not know how to do social media, ganon. And then try to be mindful of their loneliness 
and uh, yeah, send them something or you know, abilis bilis na now to send something because of Lala Move. I have a friend who ordered um, seven cakes from me to give out on Valentine's Day. Nagulat na ako. So, parang like that. So, Valentine, you can do a lot of things to kindle your own fire. And you will find it um, very fulfilling. And, um, wala, ganun. And it's not so bad. As people would like to let, the movies would like to let you think. Or the romance book would like you to think. Oh, kasi it's or the problem siguro sa media eh. It's social media, ano din kasi, presenting these uh, holidays. Hmm. Uh, pressure for people because they won't have anything or something to post on that day. Yeah, actually, kanina I was uh what uh was reading my my Facebook and then I saw somebody I know, um and then um he posted something. Tapos na ako sa kanya. I said, hey, you watch our Capitana later, because if you watch it, you can you you will uh, know it's all about um. It's all about uh, being single. Like you said, um, uh, we know the effects if your relatives are married and then you are the only one. You're just always, you're always a visitor. Something like that. He said something like that. So I felt so much. I said, watch Capitana. We're going to talk about single blessedness. It's not so bad. Because <laughs> I remember watching also you, Bridget, the the story diary of Bridget uh, Jones, and then but she felt bad. All her friends, they're all married, and then people are all asking her, "Why are you not married? Why are you like this? Are you still single? Things like, is there something wrong with you?" But she she felt on that day, but it's very very parang stressful. So that's why we came up with this topic. Now, you know, Valentine's Day is not only for people with a husband or a spouse or you know, a significant other is for everyone. And uh, it's really nice. You love yourself. Uh, have a bigger heart for people who need love, animals who need love. And yeah, spend it that way. Right? Yes. And don't be pressured with you know, social media. Sometimes the social media really does a big damage to the way how we feel and think. Oh, I don't so allow social do? media to do that to me. In fact, I'm not on it. <laughs> oh, that's the, no, the best thing you can do. <laughs> I call Facebook fake book, Capitana. I, how nice, no? Keep fake I've always book. called it fake book. And look at the stock price. It's going through the floor. Yeah, you know, the other day, they banned, not that banned, um, they, they suspended my account because I was it's, sending... I was sending invitation to many people who were who liked my post. I had the cooking post once. So it's like 750 people like my post. So I was sending them a message to like my YouTube, ganon, uh, my YouTube channel. Um, yon, my, and then uh, they suspended it. Imagine. For cooking? No, somebody, no, is that, okay, I have a, a post before I did a cooking post, uh, steam eggs, and then 700, I had 750 likes, the most likes I got, you know, and then um, in my whole entire fake book, um, <laughs> fake book <laughs> journey, that's the most number of <laughs> likes I ever got, you know, I'm not, Shepard, we're not Tony Gonzaga or Alex Gonzaga, no? So what I did was, uh, so since these people already like what I did, so I, I went to them and invited them to, to like my uh, YouTube and ch channel Capitana Entertainment. But um, for some weird reason, Facebook uh, posted that, you know, uh, Facebook pala, post, <laughs> <laughs> they, they posted that, uh, I violated the community guidelines. What is there that I violated? You know, I'm just replying to the people who like my post. It's not like I'm I'm randomly picking people out of the blues. These people or had previously interacted with me already by liking my post. Right? Wow, what is that now? I cannot 
Yan, ang, gan- ang cute na. Not like kanina. Cubism? Apo. So we're trying to... Uh, cubism kasi is ano, uh, a way of uh, art where you're like showing the different facets of a two-dimensional space. And then you try to show yung 3D space either by breaking it down and then showing a facet of it. It could be from a very figurative na abstract to a very abstractive na way. So this is a combination of things. So more or less, I'm trying to add lang uh, different dimension dun sa shape and then show, trying and showing different kinds of facet into it. So it, it looks something similar to a crystal-like formation of different colors. So that's what I'm currently doing. Using silky crayons as a base over yung previously dried two layers of paint. We're all, ano na, teacher? Overtime na tayo. Ayun. Tapos na, ano, it's very beautiful. It's very yeah. pretty. I like it. We can, ano, wrap up things if you like. So we can wrap probably have, we can probably have, ano, Parting words from all of our guests. Ay, oo. Ang galing si teacher. Ako talaga pala. <laughs> <laughs> Parang kala mo nagkakwento ko. Chero lang ako. <laughs> yeah. Let's start with, ano, Nicole. Galing ni Nicole, ha? Nicole, I didn't know you're very, very eloquent. Parang pwede kang, ano, talaga, talk show host. Ay, nako, in my work, I have to give speeches several times a day. Kaya pala, grabe, yung galing-galing. Oo nga, I enjoy it. Parang ako, I want to be blue. <laughs> I'm so blue. I'm just trying to add video content uh, to my, ganon, by coming out with art demos, like this, like that. This is what I like to do kasi make my channel into an uh, educatainment channel. Sige nga, um, um, Nicole, can you, can you give last uh, party um, words? What can I say? Um, Don't just look for your friends in the obvious people, such as family, friends, classmates, work colleagues. No, You'll also find it very, very rewarding if you have a pet. If you don't already have one, you yeah. might want to think of adopting one. Because a lot of them are so kawawa when you see them abandoned in shelters. So if you can have a heart and find it inside your heart to adopt a pet. Um, I can assure you that the rewards will be unbelievable. You're just not going to expect it. Um, your heart will be full, and all of a sudden, you feel as if somebody's going to love you unconditionally, no matter what kind of a person you are. Of course, short of abusing the pet, no? But whether you're fat, you're old, you're young, you're stinky, you're mamango, you're ugly, or beautiful, the pet will love you. And that, for me, is something that is... So, so valuable and so precious. There. You know, but I notice dogs like stinky stuff. <laughs> yeah, of course. They love stinky stuff. So people. we have to stink to for them to love you more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Mike? Sorry, I wasn't able to contribute so much to this. You know, no, 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 it's perfect. Too. But, you know, um, I would say, you know, being single is not really, you know, that bad. You know, I've been single for for quite a while. Uh, um, you know, uh, as Capitana said, find your, what was that word? Uh, kindle your own fire. No, kindle your own fire, you know. And uh, there's a lot of activities, you know, even, even actually, you know, like, just to give you an example, um, when I was still much younger and I was in, you know, in, in, in relationships. And um, I'm, um, you don't really have to, you know, like make, uh, you know, with, you know, uh, the other people celebrating Valentine's Day, you know, um, as teacher Ian said, like nowadays, mahirap ng kumuha ng seats or tables sa mga, sa mga restaurant but for me kasi you know in my experience i hindi kasi ako talaga din mahilig uh lumabas you know uh and a good thing that you know my 
my my relationships or my partners before were not also the type na mahilig lumabas and makipagsabayan during Valentine's Day. Plus also the fact that, you know, um, I found this, these relationships when I was abroad and in places where hindi naman talaga masyadong uh, sinecelebrate yung Valentine's Day or Christmas, you know, or New Year or the other uh, holidays that, um, you know, we're so used to uh, because, you know, we were in the Western world. So I think that helped also. And, um, you know, uh, really find your, I know, kindle your own fire. That's, that's you know, you just need to uh, really know how to, you know, entertain yourself, you know do things that will, you know, make you happy, you know, like this one, painting, you know, and then, um, yeah, um, go and pamper yourself, magpaspa, you know, um, or like, you know, um, something, you know, like I experienced recently na madami pa palang, you know, places in Manila that uh, hindi ko pa napupuntahan, you know, like pre-pandemic, you know, um, I only realized that, you know, uh, I haven't gone to a lot of museums, you know, uh, heritage sites in Manila, you know. So I think those are the things that uh, you can do during Valentine's Day, you know, uh, if you're single. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, uh, I, I think I... Um, I want to do a parting word before teacher. Teacher Ian, ikaw last, ha? Okay, po. Uh, okay, for me, um, happy Valentine's in advance to everyone. Uh, it's for everyone, not just for the love, not for lovers lang, but for everyone uh, who has a big heart. Uh, please don't forget the people who need, uh, who are lonely, who are sick, who are orphans. Because I heard from someone, there are many, many orphans now after COVID, no? after this COVID pandemic. Um Let's not wait for Christmas to do these de deeds. And um, and some of our relatives who are kind of forgotten because they're old and sick, let's uh, remember them on Valentine's Day. And uh, not only on Valentine's Day, but every day. Um, as Christians, uh, every day is Valentine's Day. We should love everyone. And um, I want to say something, Pa, please subscribe to my... <laughs> to my YouTube channel, Capitana oh, Entertainment you. Media. <laughs> and uh, we're probably going to do a series next time um, for people who are tech challenge, no? Um, how to play with social media and how to enjoy it. Yon. Okay, Teacher Ian, you have the last word. Ako yung maging last today. So um, always remember, uh, not, not just for Valentine's Day, uh, all the love that you give out to the world will come back to you in not exactly the way that you wanted, but it will come back. So just try to give that love away. It doesn't have to be someone very close. It could be a random, uh, the quick uh, random stranger love of just trying to make someone smile, greet someone, uh, good morning, say thank you to someone. So there, these random acts of kindness can be considered love. Always remember, yourself is also important. So make sure that you check upon yourself once in a while. And never uh, no, get discouraged by anything. Always try to try something new. And who knows? You might find something more exciting than what you are thinking na yun lang yung kaya mong gawin. So thank you so much, Miss Rosanna, for the invitation to be with you for this evening. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Capitana Entertainment Media Facebook. And please uh, like and subscribe to the uh, Capitana Entertainment Media YouTube channel. So all of the links will be posted down below. If you have other questions or comments or other things you want to share, feel free to put it down on the comment section box below. And we'll try to answer most of these things. So thank you so much to all of you who have watched with us. If you love this episode, feel free to share it to your friends on Messenger or in other social media platform. Retweet it. You can share it to your vibrant groups. 
notes, everything. If you want other ideas or other things to be talked about, feel free to put everything down below. We would really love to see all of those comments. And thank you so much for staying with us tonight. You can rewatch this, of course. This would still be uploaded on the Facebook page. And I think I have mostly told everything. I haven't forgotten anything. So going back to our beautiful host, Ms. Rosanna. I'm so happy I'm in the midst of uh, very intelligent uh, companies. And ang kagaling ninyo, parang mi Miss Bulol beside you and uh, all of you. Galing, galing. I, I, this was really unexpected, uh, Nicola. I, I really didn't expect, you know, that kind of um, eloquence from you. Because we're text friends to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> so, neighbors. As Thank as you also done, for inviting me. Thank you. You know, very happy, talaga. Talagang yung parang surprise na, very pleasant surprise. Ang gagaling ninyo. Buti na lang. Kung wala, ay nako. Um, this is done, teacher? Yes po. So beautiful. Beautiful. I like it. Thank you so much. Yeah. So siguro we'll, we'll, ano, somebody already invited me to, to form a group after the pandemic, hopefully. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much for be, being here. I really appreciate it. And uh, see you next time. Sana, you will come again to my show. And uh, let's have uh, Chica again. Do Chica, Chica, Chica. Just like that. Bye. Bye. Thank okay. you for having Bye. us. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.